In this video, I want to continue the discussion of um, the uh, potential barrier, um, whereas in the previous video I talked about uh, the potential barrier where the total energy is greater than the potential height. Um, here I want to lower the energy below it. Again, um, instead of writing out the derivation, there is an excellent derivation in the introductory to quantum mechanics book by Richard Lieboff, um, copyright 1980. Um, so if I go to uh, the Leibov's book, <clears throat> where um, where I left off in the previous video was that the one over the transmission probability can be written um, in terms of the potential height v, um, the total energy of the system e, and the width of the barrier a. And this is the case where the total energy is greater than the potential height. But now let's consider the case where the energy E is now um, below the value of V. And so, as you can remember from class, what you get is traveling waves, an incident wave and a reflected wave on the left-hand side in region one, a transmitted wave on the right-hand side um, of the barrier. And then you get this exponential decay of, um, uh, an exponential decay uh, inside. And it's an exponential decay, um, so again, here's the picture now, of the wave functions, um, the traveling wave on the left, the traveling wave on the right, and the exponential decay inside the barrier. <clears throat> and you get that exponential decay because now V is greater than E, and so you now replace basically I K2 with kappa. <clears throat> so basically, um, <clears throat> instead of redoing the whole derivation, we can just replace um, the uh, k2 with the um, with the kappa. So if I look at now, if I go back to my um, the original result for the barrier where the energy is greater than the potential <clears throat> um, up here, sorry, um, what we have is um, k2, if it's k2 squared. So now what I want to do is re replace that k2 with um, the, uh, where is it, sorry. If I want to replace the k2 where now i k2 becomes kappa. So we can just take that equation and replace the um, k2, so now the k2 squared, um, would be instead of minus k2 squared, it would be plus kappa squared. <clears throat> now the interesting thing is there's a k2 inside the sign, and so you have to think back to the trig identity, which says the sign of the imagined number i times the variable z is i times the sink, not a sink function, the, the, <laughs> the, sign, the uh, hyperbolic sign function, um, with an I out front. So the I out front takes care of the I you would get from the K2 in the denominator. So that becomes kappa. And we eliminate the I with the I out in front. And we change the sign to the hyperbolic sign. And that's pretty much it. So now what we have is a, um, we can calculate the transmission, um, probability, or it's easier to write down as one over the transmission probability, in terms of the energies, the energy of the, the height of the barrier, V, now the difference is re reversed, so it's V minus the total energy, and we replace the sign with the hyperbolic sign function, and we replaced kappa, I'm sorry, K2, the wave number K2 inside the barrier, or I'm sorry, above the barrier last time with um, the kappa um, here. But it still has kind of the, <clears throat> the same. So now you can rewrite this and now you can get the transmission probability through the barrier with this kind of complicated looking function. But really, again, it's just dependent on the height of the barrier, the total energy, um, which is now below the barrier level, and the width of the barrier a um, inside this hyperbolic um, sine function.
<clears throat> um, and so now you get that um, particular result. So again, uh, I don't really want to go through um, the uh, derivation in great detail, but I wanted to give uh, give you the result. So now what we just talked about very qualitatively in class, you actually now have equations which you can use to actually calculate the um, transmission probabilities. Um, and so now you can play around with things like making the barrier wider, making the barrier taller, and seeing how that will affect the um, transmission of the wave function um, uh, as it goes um, through there.